Council Super Lightweight Championship bout. Introducing to you the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks. He hails from Las Vegas, Nevada, and he weighs in tonight 139 pounds. A record of 29 wins, 5 losses, 20 wins by way of knockout. He is the former junior lightweight champion of the world, ranked number 9 by the World Boxing Council as a super lightweight, introducing the challenger, Roger Black Mamba Mayweather. his opponent on my right in the red corner the champion wearing red trunks with white trim weighing in tonight the exact same weight 139 pounds with a record of 44 wins three losses 37 wins by way of knockout he is the world boxing council super lightweight champion of the world from Apatzinga, Michoacan, Mexico, El Campeón, René Arredondo. <laughs> Referee in charge now to give instructions, Lou Filippo. Okay, I gave your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands. Okay, shake hands, any questions? Shake hands, let's have a good fight. Well, even the referee wants to see a good fight, and I'm sure this uh, crowd do here. Lou Filippo once fought the great Carlos Ortiz, the world lightweight champion. So Arredondo now sometimes has not been predictable, and certainly Roger Mayweather hasn't, because he's defeated three top-flight Mexicans in Los Angeles in big upsets. And he did it also against Sam Serrano in Puerto Rico when he became the super featherweight champion of the world that's nine stone four now we're up to the ten stone division known uh, in britain and europe basically as the light welterweight one the one that ibf champion was terry marsh some good boxing going here they're both as they say in the fight trade a couple of bangers but they can also box a bit a lot of skill and mayweather a brother Floyd Mayweather who fought Sugar Ray Leonard and was very close to championship class and now although he was born in Grand Rapids in Michigan boxes out of Las Vegas with Jesse Reed in his corner and Jesse's always been around with class fans. only a minute into the opening round now how do you fancy this first time you've seen them isn't it yeah first time i've seen either of them but uh, you can see they've both been mixing in their top class for a few years because already they've started fainting each other trying to, to get the other man off balance trying to find openings uh, they're not just uh, swinging in with crazy punches aragondo is stretching a little bit i think that's because mayweather is just taking a little half step back as he moves forward but uh, good thinking fighters it would seem and, uh, both set they had a big punch the way they're setting their feet. I tell you what, a big built boy is certainly across the shoulders to make the 10 stone weight. And I'm wondering if uh, either of them have had to drag a bit to do it. And as you can hear there, this, this crowd really signals every punch that comes in from Arredondo. They're totally hostile. Not the same arena as the famous Olympic, which sadly, like Liverpool Stadium, has been pulled down. And that was where they made the Rocky films there, but the, the atmosphere here is just as tense as a film. I've seen Mayweather box, and again, he's been beaten a couple of times by ordinary fighters, uh, Fred Pendleton. But on the other hand, uh, he fought the great Julio Cesar Chavez, the unbeaten Mexican champion and uh, although he lost it shows what sort of company he's been working with Mayweather so I wouldn't write the challenger off Jim from a boxer's point of view as we come up to the final seconds it must be tough atmosphere here away from home with all this crowd yeah but Mayweather doesn't seem effective that was a good right hand just in the round finished
rundown then of Arredondo. As I say, he beat Lonnie Smith for the championship, but lost it, surprisingly enough, to, in his first defence to Hamada, but that was in Japan, and he regained it against the Japanese last July in the sixth round. Out for the second, and it was hardly a searching start. They really were banging away with that left-hand jab, just trying to get into range. But all good quality stuff boxing this gym isn't it yeah you can see a lot of technique uh, and, and both these boys work uh, good concentration they keep uh, never take their eyes off the target they're both trying to cause the other fellow to make mistakes Mayweather has looked dangerous once or twice with that right hand they caught Aragondo just at the end of the, the, the first round but a good shot he's looking pretty dangerous with that there it is again only just off target he certainly he tries to wait for the left lead to come Mayweather watch for that and then drops it over the top now that was way out but when he steps in with it it can be a really dangerous looking shot when you see this Jim you wonder the ex uh, Olympic champion Pernell Whitaker has a decision over Mayweather so it looks like he's going to be a potential challenger Arredondo looks very powerful, so I think Mayweather has made up his mind to try to back him off and take some of the sting out of his punches. He's trying to force the champion back. Arredondo has been a bit of a playboy in his time because of the, the way he won and lost the title so quickly, which surprised everybody. But there you go, he's had 37 knockouts or stoppages from 47 fights. they're using long punches isn't it Jim they obviously respect each other's punching power yeah, and uh, a few times Aragonda's jabs have fallen short and he's pulling his head back as though he's caught out in mid-air uh, you see he leads with a jab when it falls short he should dip he should be dipping his chin and getting in between his shoulders but he's actually lifting his head up which again could cause him some problems so a minute to go in round two and it really is well, certainly from Jim Watt, nice part. Very classy and interesting boxing. This championship level. And there you are, you're almost in there with him. So it looks to me, Jim, as if the right-hand punch from either man is going to be causing the damage here. Mayweather looks as though he could be the most dangerous with it. Mayweather seems to be the more difficult to catch. Clearly at this stage, he shit. He's looking shifty, he's looking sharp, and Arredondo hasn't really had the chance to land any big stuff yet. So we're into round four then of the scheduled 12, and now the World Boxing Council and the World Boxing Association have the standard 12 round distance and it really has been well almost catch as catch can Jim it's been crafty boxing but effective hitting yeah well both boys at all times have been set for the big punches but they haven't had too many opportunities to land them because they both have uh, very sharp reflexes they're just uh, slipping their chin out of distance just at that last split second but uh, at any moment obviously that little set, split second rate the punches are going to start landing The other champion actually at this weight is uh, Juan Coggi, who defeated the Italian Oliva. So maybe we'll get another unification match now that the WBC and the WBA seem to be all pals again. As I say, Jim Mayweather's been in such good class. He had. Uh, two defences of what was then his nine stone four world championship before he lost to Rocky Lockridge and surprisingly that was a knockout in the first round but uh, he's made a bit of a comeback since then and obviously I think Jesse Reed and co in Las Vegas have got his uh, spirit and ambition back I think, uh, this, this performance I'm very impressed with the challenger 
think that means both boys have been knocked out in the first round because I believe when Aragonda lost his title to Hamada, it was in the first round. Well, he did complain uh, he had been, uh, his food had been poisoned beforehand. So well, this proves, although they, they both of them can punch and the both of them can be knocked out too. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good excuse, isn't it? Getting into the ring with food poisoning, I suppose. But still, he proved his point by regaining it in the sixth round. So a minute to go in the fourth then. And this, this look, it's almost like a bit of a minefield. They're sort of cocking the right hand, ready to unleash it. And you're not sure which one's going to land the hardest. And now the crowd are getting on the champion's back a bit. As I say, they might be hostile when he's in front and uh, making the challenger feel a bit too awkward. But if their man's not doing the business, they also get pretty mad at them here. See, at this point, Aragondo is not stepping in enough with the punches. Look at these jams, they're all falling short. And he looks a little bit apprehensive the way he's pulling his head up in the air. If, if a world champion the bottom with the first few odd fights, he's making some basic mistakes. You see, he's just kind of sticking the arm out. There, there he goes, he's not really stepping in with a jab. And uh, he can run into trouble here. Well, he made that one count right on the on the bell there, left hook to the body as referee Filippo there he is collecting the scorecards after each round. The judges come from Colombia, Puerto Rico and Korea. But the way they're going, I don't think the points are going to be needed. Here's a replay, Jim. Well, Aradondo has been caught a couple of times with his head too high and again we see Neil Weir have taken advantage of that there. five now really warmed up and i think maybe the mexican uh, hero he was a hero until the last round they gave him a bit of stick the crowd might be looking to do something more conclusive but uh, roger mayweather really knows his business so it's uh, the underdog really starting to climb on top now and i'm still wondering jim as i said at the off whether arredondo can do that 10 stone weight comfortably look it looks as though there's something wrong to me. He's not unleashing quickly enough. Well, I'm thinking the same thing because he's not putting the power you would expect to see uh, in his jab. And even when the jab lands, Mayweather is able to come straight through the jab and land with his own counter. So there seems to be a lack of power. I don't know if there's a, a lack of strength as well in Aragondo's work. But uh, he's not finding the range. And it, he was shaking there slightly with that short little uh, right hand, which didn't look all that powerful. these very colourful blue gloves are quite tightly packed and well banded as you can see or elastic actually around the wrist they're, they're very good uh, gloves and easy for the judges to have a look at and know where they've gone see he boxes his way in so well Mayweather he sticks that left hand jab out makes the opening and then whips over the right hand Jim he really is confident now Mayweather is looking very sharp but I don't know if he feels in there that Arredondo doesn't have the power that maybe Mayweather expected him to have and as the fight is going on he's looking more and more comfortable he's taking a few more chances and they're coming off for him and he's getting into punching range and landing good punches and again the crowd jeering Arredondo it's a, I mean that's really taking some credit away from the challenger isn't it I, I think obviously the, the, the crowd feel there should be a lot more authority in the champions works even then just as I was speaking He's, he's just feeding out a little hand punch, a little arm punch. Yeah, no power whatsoever in that jab. Now you get the feeling that Mayweather's saying, hello, it looks like I could be a champion again. And that's a good performance to get up from 9 stone 4 to 10 stone to win a championship. that the moment he does something right the crowd are with him again a great turn coach aren't they oh, Filippo not doing a bad job here he's still a bit lively the old lightweight mind you Jim it's uh, as I come up to the end of the round it's an easy fight to handle this one it's a good fight
so a bit of replay there and Arredondo has, here is just getting a little bit of success that's what caused the crowd to cheer him home a bit there missed with the right hand but uh, at least Mayweather missed as well out for the sixth round and really in full stride now this World Boxing Council light world away or super lightweight championship of the world between the light and welterweight divisions. And Arredondo needs all the help he can get at the moment from the crowd. I've been impressed by Mayweather's sharp boxing, good right hand punching, and a little bit disappointed like you, Jim, in Arredondo's show so far. Yeah, he hasn't had the, the, the power we expect from him, and he's never really launched an attack and sustained the pace for any time. He's landed a couple of good left hooks, a couple of good punches, but he's never sustained anything, and he's never, at any point, even looked like dominating Mayweather. So just pulling on to, for a punch there, Filippo made himself heard. But I don't think Mayweather's going to be put out of his stride at all. He's got a lot of patience, too. He's, he's waiting for the champion to move into range all the time. Good punch by Arredondo. He's trying the right hand now. Oh, what a shot, though, from Mayweather. It was almost as if he'd uncoiled a spring there, the way he let go. He's looking around. He couldn't find his own corner. Well dazed, and the legs are buckling under him now. Is Filippo going to stop this after the eight count? No, he's not. And he winks, would you believe that? That takes a bit of doing. I don't think that will help him because Mayweather's not going to be friendly. And it was just as well that that uppercut missed. And he's going to take up the count again. He's getting a bit longer, pushing Mayweather back to a neutral corner. And it looks as though he might be able to stop it here. But Arredondo said, no, I'm OK. But not for long, I'm sure. Mayweather will take advantage of this. And the final punch is right around the side of the head. He's not going to count. And he's hurt there, Arredondo. For me, the referee may as well have stopped it the moment he waved play on there because the champion, well, he was just always going to go. No matter how much he nodded to the referee, there was no way that he could do it. 